بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد It is a truly genuine indication of one's faith and devotion to Allah that his heart be constantly attached to the house of Allah, the masjid. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned, that there are seven types of people who will be shaded in the shade of Allah on the day when there is no shade but His. And one of those individuals, he said, وَرَجُلٌ قَلْبُهُ مُعَلَّقٌ فِي الْمَسْجِدِ He said, an individual, a man whose heart is clinging into the masjid, is clinging in the masjid, is hanging in the masjid. This is the epicenter of the expression of the Muslim's faith, the masjid. We go to the masjid to receive enlightenment, spiritual guidance. We go to the masjid as a starting point and an end point to begin and end our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We begin our journey in the masjid. We strengthen our journey and double down in the masjid. And we end our lives with the masjid being as close and as recent as possible. And so it is difficult for all of us to see the changes that are going on right now. Yes, there is this virus that is going around. And because of it, many changes are taking place around us. There are many closures, events and schools and gatherings are being affected by this contagion. And the masjid is no different. Out of precaution, the leadership here at Mosque Foundation has taken a number of steps to balance the well-being of the community and their spiritual needs as well. And so, Salat al-Jumu'ah has been postponed. Salat al-Jama'ah, or the congregational prayer, the administration of the masjid and the principal imam of the masjid have highly encouraged people not to come to the masjid, especially those who are of high risk. This is something that is painful to all of us. It is not something that we desire to see the masjid empty or to see the masjid less full as it was and less active and vibrant, but it is necessary. And this is something that will pass, inshallah. If an individual has the intention to do something and does everything in his power to do that, yet that thing does not come to pass, he is still rewarded as if he has done it. The Prophet ﷺ, when he went to the Battle of Tabuk, on his return, he said to the companions that were with him, he said, إِنَّ رِجَالًا خَلْفَنَا بِالْمَدِينَةِ مَا قَطَعْنَا وَادِيًا وَلَا سَلَكْنَا مَسْلَكًا إِلَّا شَرَكُوكُمْ فِي الْأَجْرِ وَفِي رِوَايَةٍ إِلَّا كَانُوا مَعَنَا حَبَسَهُمُ الْعُذُرِ in Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim on the authority of Anas and Jabir and others, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned on his return from Tabuk that there are individuals who are in Medina from amongst our brothers. We have not crossed a valley nor have we taken a single path except that they were with us the entire time. And in another wording, he said, except that they have the same portion of reward as we do. The only thing is that they were kept back by illness. They were kept back by an inability to physically attend. And so an individual whose heart is in the right place and does everything in his power to fulfill a law of his infinite mercy gives this individual the reward of the one who has done it. And so our reward is preserved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
and what is past of our deeds will continue on even when our physical deeds come to an end. In the narration of Abi Musa al-Ash'ari, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِذَا مَرِضَ الْعَبْدُ أَوْ سَافَرَ كُتِبَ لَهُ مَا كَانَ يَعْمَلُ صَحِيحًا مُقِيمًا He said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if the individual falls ill or goes on a journey, whatever deeds of worship he used to do while he was in a state of good health and residency will be continuously written for him as if he is continuing to do these things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent the prophets and messengers not just to preserve our religion and our minds, but also to preserve our bodies. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so elegantly said about Dawood alayhi salam, وَعَلَّمْنَاهُ صَنْعَةَ لَبُوسٍ لَكُمْ لِتُحْصِنَكُمْ مِنْ بَأْسِكُمْ فَهَلْ أَنْتُمْ شَاكِرُونَ he said subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Anbiya about Dawood alayhi salam, who was a prophet of Allah, and we taught him the construction and fabrication of armor that you all may wear in order to protect yourselves in war. Will you not then be thankful? And so we see that the prophet who was given the book was also given the knowledge to preserve the body as he was given the book to preserve the mind and soul. Allahu A'lam.